Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to talk to you all about my yarn winder and the reason for this video is because every time I post a video or a photo or something regarding my yarn winder or of my yarn winder I always get so many questions about it. So you guys are always asking me how much I paid for it, where I got it from, do I love it and do I think you need one? So I'm going to go through all those questions in this video and show you how to use it as well. So if that is something that you are interested in, please just keep on watching. Okay, so to answer the question about how much did I pay for it, I think I paid about $20. I did purchase this off eBay. I will try and find the link and link it down below. I'm not sure if I will be able to find this exact same one because I did purchase this quite a while ago, but I will try and find something that's very, very similar and link it down below. I think I paid about $20, so not expensive at all. You can, of course, get some really high quality, um, beautiful yarn winders that are more expensive this one is just made of plastic but you can get beautiful wooden ones as well i've seen them floating around online but this one is just a cheap plastic one that i got off ebay do i love it yes i do do you need it absolutely not but will you probably want one after watching this video yes you probably will because it makes your life so much easier. This is not a necessity by any means. I mean, what actually is a necessity in our lives really other than food, water and shelter? Not a lot. We don't really need much, but does this make your life a lot easier? Hell yeah, it does. So what it does is basically wind your skeins into cakes, which then allow you to really easily pull from the center. And we all know how much everyone loves a center so I will grab one of the cakes that I have wound up on this and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So this is an example of one of the cakes that I wound up using my yarn winder. As you can see, it is so beautifully tidy. I can easily pull my yarn from the center if I want to and it just comes out nice and easily and just flows, which I absolutely love. I hate pulling from the outside. Who even pulls from the outside anymore? I don't actually know. But that is what I love most about my yarn winder is that it winds it into these beautiful tidy cakes and I can easily pull it from the center. It also assists you in being able to stack your skeins up. So if you're like me and you do have very limited space, this is going to be great for you because as you can see, it's got a flat top and a flat bottom so you can easily stack these cakes on top of each other for easy storage. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you exactly how you use it and I will also take you through the features of my yarn winder. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take you through the features of the yarn winder. So obviously here you have your handle which you use to wind. You've then got this clamp at the bottom which you use to clamp it to your table. Then we've got the yarn guide so you thread your yarn through here to guide it into the winder and then this of course is where we attach our yarn to which will allow us to wind it into a cake so i'm going to show you exactly how i attach it to my table so we want to make sure that this pointed end is facing that way and not out that way because we want our yarn winder to clamp to the table like that so we're then just going to pop it onto the table just like that and then down the bottom here is a little screw that you just tighten to tighten it up as you can see at the moment it's moving around all over the place but once this is tightened it clamps it to the table nice and securely so it won't move around while you're winding so now that it's tightened you can see that that is nice and sturdy and it's not moving around anywhere now I'm going to show you guys how to actually attach your yarn to the winder to wind it into a cake. Alright, so here I have a skein of yarn that I want to wind into a cake. I'm going to try and do a center pull from this skein because it does just make your life easier. But if you have to do it from the outside, by all means, please do so. Once you've found the end, you're going to thread that end through that yarn guide there just like so, and then you're going to place it in that groove there, leaving a little bit of a tail because that is going to be where we pull our center pull from. So you wanna leave a little bit of a tail there. Make sure it's securely in there. And then all we are going to do is simply wind our yarn winder. 
keeping a little bit of tension on this end because you don't want it to be too loose. You want it to wind into a nice solid cake. So we're then just going to continue winding until we have either run out of yarn or until the cake is so big that it can no longer wind. And what I mean by that is if your cake is so big that your cake can no longer wind past your yarn guide, that means it's now come to the full capacity of your yarn winder and you will then need to remove it from your winder. But I'm going to continue winding until this skein has run out or until it's so big that I can no longer wind. And there we have it. We have now run out of yarn. So what I like to do is go in and just wrap that little bit of tail around the cake and then just tuck it in there somewhere to secure it so it's not going to come undone. We can then remove our cake from the winder. So first of all, what you want to do is just remove this little bit here from that groove and then gently pull your cake off your winder and that my friends, is what you will be left with. How stunning and neat is that? Well guys, that wraps up today's video. I know it was a super quick one, but I just wanted to come on here and explain my yarn winder to you guys because as I said, I do get a lot of questions about it. So to summarize, basically, do I love my yarn winder? Yes, I do. Do you need one? Absolutely not. Will it make your life a lot easier? Yes, it will. And where did I buy it from? I bought it from eBay. How much did it cost me? It cost me about $20. So as I said, I will link the most similar yarn winder I can find on eBay down below. So you guys can go and check it out if you did want to purchase one. But that wraps up today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did find this helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. Until my next video, I will see you later. Stay safe, be kind, and have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.